In this video, we will learn about Group E of Köppen climatic classification. Group E stands for cold climates. It also has another name called polar climates. Now polar climates exist poleward beyond 70 degree latitude. Polar climates consist of two types. One is tundra climate, which is denoted by capital letter E, T, and the second one is ice cap, which is denoted by capital letter E, F. Now polar climate are found in these places like Antarctica, then countries of Arctic region like Greenland, extreme northeastern coast of Scandinavia, Norway, Finland, Sweden, Russia, then large areas of northern Siberia, northern Iceland, then northern parts of Canada and Alaska. In South America, southern parts of Argentina, Chile and Peru have polar climate. Even Himalayas have polar climate. If you look at this image, sunlight reaches the earth in this way. The rays have much further to travel to reach the polar regions. And the angle of Earth's axis also matters. Because if you see, the area north of the Arctic Circle experiences the polar night in winter. That means the further north you travel, the longer the polar night lasts. A polar climate consists of small summers and very cold winters, which is the reason behind the glaciers and permanent layer of ice. The North Pole has an average temperature of 0 degrees Celsius in the summer, and minus 40 degrees Celsius in the winter. And if you look at the South Pole, it has an average temperature of minus 27 degrees Celsius during the summer and minus 60 degrees Celsius during the winter. These places are so cold, when the snow falls, it does not melt. It gradually accumulates over hundreds and thousands of years to make thick ice sheet called permafrost. The ice sheets in the Southern Hemisphere are much larger than in the Northern Hemisphere, covering the entire continent of Antarctica. And if you look at the seven continents of the world, in order of their size, Antarctica is at fifth position. Therefore, the southern hemisphere has more ice sheet compared to northern hemisphere. Since the air in polar region is so cold that it contains very little moisture. Again, it is because of the sun rays. Because half the year, the sun does not rise above the horizon. And since there is very little moisture, the air is dry. And dry air means that there is very little snowfall. Polar climates can be dry as the hot desert. That's why these regions are also called cold deserts. Coming to the vegetation part, the only plants that can survive the harsh winters and wet summers are small ground-hugging plants like mosses, lichens and small shrubs.